What's going on? So, um... The NBA, are they milking this Kobe Bryant thing too much? Are they are they going a little too far? Absolutely. Kobe Bryant passed away. I was sad. A lot of people are sad. But to keep milking his death to sell tickets and to keep people viewing the game is disrespectful to Kobe Bryant. And this is the thing that's funny to me. You guys weren't giving him his flowers while he was here, but now you guys are trying to give him his flowers even in death after he had to die for you to give him credit. And it's, it's people like the media, it's people like that are trolls who are kids, who are basically white America not saying all whites, all whites are not racist or terrible, but you have whites out here who are under the impression that, you know, he was an a-hole and he deserved what he got and things like that. I've really not really even tried to even look into that or even try to put energy into that. But last night, the reason I made that video to say about the game is that it, it was terrible. As a basketball fan, you want basketball. I understand you're trying to honor Kobe, but it's a time and a place to do that. You did that already. You, you had that, that game against the Blazers, which was Kobe Bryant's night. That was cool. And this bum lost it. Like he always lose big games. So to me, what I have a problem is the NBA is trying to milk this narrative that LeBron and Kobe are buddies and they never were buddies. They, they never were friends. LeBron never came to the academy, the Mamba Academy. He was welcome to come. He never came to train. He never worked on his game there. So... I, I just don't understand the lunacy and the delusion of all these fans and of all these people who keep on trying to milk Kobe Bryant's death. He's gone and it's, it's like you guys are treating him like crap. And people trying to tell me, man, you, you calling him the GOAT because he died. I've been called Kobe the GOAT for me. My top five is different from everybody. I don't have the same top five as everybody. I'm not going to go along with somebody. That's like me. That's like me going to the store and I don't like cookies or I mean Oreos, Oreo cookies. I don't like Oreo cookies, but I'm going to get Oreo cookies because everybody else says Oreo cookies are good. No, that's not how it works. You have a mind of your own. You, If you got LeBron in your top five, okay, that's you. But don't get mad at other people when they don't like them. It's the same as Kobe. I don't get mad at people don't like him. I just get upset because y'all act like the dude was a bum when he wasn't. The dude was carrying the league from 2000 to like when Jordan retired Iverson during that little period and then Kobe, them two were killing it. And then you had T-Mac who was just destroying everything, but he was just on a bad Orlando team. He got hurt and started getting injuries, but even during that time, Kobe proved that he was better than him. Iverson, Carter, all of these guys, LeBron as well. LeBron James doesn't have a consistent post game, you know, but that's, be, that's besides the point. I'm getting off track. But the problem is they need to stop talking about Kobe Bryant. Let the man rest in paradise. Let him let him live his let him live on. Let his legend keep growing. But all of you fake people and you fake fans and you fake media people who are trying to give him credit now I was telling y'all then, y'all got this dude ranked in the top 15. And and then I was listening to this dude one day 
um he used to be um Michael Sowell. Now he's too raw for TV. And he makes some great points. Go support him, by the way. Subscribe to his channel. But he had Kobe out of his top 10. But I'm like this. If you guys say he's the closest to Jordan, then that makes him number two. Or that makes him in the top five. The 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 the, the way he played the game is top five-ish. There's only a few players that you could put over a Kobe Bryant. You know, you could put Mike, you could put um Bird, you could put Magic, which I don't agree with. I, I don't think Magic's on that. Magic's raw, but I don't think Magic is above Kobe. You could go Kareem, um, Bill Russell. You know, you could put over Oscar Robertson. You could put over him. Isaiah Thomas from the Pistons, you could. But it's not that many people you put over a Kobe Bryant. It's not. Probably like five people, four or five. Now, the guy too raw has changed his list, I believe, and made him number seven or eight. Or To me, the guy's either top five or he's in that top seven. That's where Kobe Bryant should be. And for all you guys who are thinking that and who, who are talking about these the, the Bleacher Report, Bleacher Report so stupid, for them to even try to be disrespectful. Curry, I love Steph Curry. I think he need to go back to church because his wife, is making him do too much negative. We don't need none of that. You all up on him doing all these sexual things, these pictures. Look, that need to stop, man. You a child of God, bro. You came in, child of God, praising Christianity. Now you and your wife out here trying to be models or something, it, trying to show off your bodies and things like that. That's not, that's not, that's not, that's not right, bro. So, Steph, don't go down that path. You don't need to go down that path. You straight how you are. But they need to stop milking this Kobe Bryant thing. And the NBA, I'm ashamed of you. And I'm ashamed of LeBron as well for letting the media point put this poison out here to try to use Kobe's death and all of that to make an excuse for if you don't get the job done. Or if you're having a bad game. You were never close to Kobe. You you were never close to him. Y'all never were buddies. So stop with the lies. Stop with all the lies now. Stop milking the Kobe Bryant thing. Let Kobe Bryant rest on. Let him do. Take your butt on, bro. My bad, man. People out here crazy. But, like I said, hey, rest in paradise, Kobe, man. And the NBA, I'm ashamed of you for using this marketing to sell dollars. And you're using Kobe Bryant's death to exploit it, to keep more money in your pockets. And that's wrong.